Hi there. Well, today this is a short video at the request of one of my viewers. We're going to have a look at the Shelly Uni and I'm going to show you how to wire it up to control a relay. So having a look at the Uni, it's a completely unprotected circuit board. However, it does come with a coating which protects it from moisture. You can see by this comparison, it's a really small device and really easy to fit into your appliances that you might want to make smart with this device. Looking at the technical details, you can see here that it's got a manual that you can download and also some compliance documents which give you confidence about using this device. Now, if we go along to the supply, it operates either off 12 to 20 volts AC or 12 to 36 volts DC. So the wiring is, diagram here gives you a very good idea of what this device is. First of all, you've got a reset button, which will put it into pairing mode. Um, to power this, we connect a plus and a minus. I've got it running off 12 volts DC, as I'll show you shortly. Then we have our analog input. So this is zero to 30 volts DC. And this is used, for example, if you're wanting to monitor a certain circuit and see what the voltage is putting out. For example, I used a sensor that was measuring the water pressure and it had a voltage output. So that will measure and give you a voltage reading inside of Home Assistant. Next, you've got these three lines. Now, these three lines can be used for either one DH22, a temperature humidity sensor, or up to three DS1820B20s. And these are the little bullet uh, temperature thermometer sensors. Now you have to use either the three or the one, you can't use both. Then we have two voltage inputs. So that's basically, you can switch the 12 volts to either of those ins and it will give you a digital one or a zero and then we have two outputs. So these are two circuits that we can control through these little opto couplers over here. So bear in mind these are not relays, they cannot take much current. As you can see you've got a maximum of 36 volt DC and 0.1 amps. So be very careful, do not power anything that has got any more power than this or you will burn these little opto couplers out. So let's look at how I've wired this up. I've got 12 volts DC coming through to the red and the black wires powering the Shelly. Then on the other side, I've got my relay control circuit. Now I've got a separate five volt supply coming in over here. So the negative is going straight to the negative of the five volt relay. The positive is then going to the positive of the five volt relay. And then the positive is also being routed through the optocoupler and it's going back to the powering or the signal section of the relay. So at the moment I go now and I can switch this on, I can switch it on like this and you can see there it's turning my relay on and off. So the important thing is here that you're not relaying or you're not routing the 5 volt power to actually power this relay through the optocoupler. Otherwise you might overheat and fry the optocoupler. The only five volts that's going through is a signal just to turn the relay on and off. Well, that's all for now. I hope this video has helped you understand this amazing little device, the Shelly Uni. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.